Hello everyone. Last time we talked about creating a virtual hard drive disk um, by using the Windows 7 operating system. If you don't have uh, Windows Ultimate or Enterprise Edition, you probably don't have BitLocker, which is an encryption built in. So the next best solution, or a great solution, is uh, TrueCrypt, which you can get from TrueCrypt.org. And you just go to the Downloads, and you select, of course, the Windows version, and you just download and then install it. Once it's installed, you can use your whatever you programs or whatever. I just I'll start typing true. There it is, TrueCrypt. And what we want to do, once this is open, is we want to create a volume. And you have three options: a container, which is also really good. Uh, but we want to encrypt a non-system drive, and uh, there's another option was, which is even uh, more intensive. But we'll we'll select the second one for now. Select next. Allow the UAC. Standard uh, TrueCrypt volume is again. We'll select that. Uh, hidden one is is a little more involved, so we'll just standard. And you want to select a drive and it's down here very small drive that we created only 10 megs maximum and select OK never save history is always checked encrypt the volume and format it or just encrypt the partition um, I'm going to uh, choose format to show you what uh, how it reacts and that's fine for now you can use other there's a whole bunch of other types uh, this is the fastest fastest one to decrypt. And there it is, 7 megs. Make a password. Now they want like something like 21 characters, but uh, not for this. <sighs> of course, it'll warn you when uh, you don't have that many characters. Oh, they want, yeah, something more than 20, 20 characters. It'll warn you that, obviously, there's not 20 characters. So I'll select Next, and yes, I want to continue. And Format, Cluster Size, leave that alone. NTFS, now it'll, it's just because the system is using um, its files for now, um, it'll pop up with, uh, are you sure you want to format? And just click Yes to proceed. And again, erase any files stored on there. Uh, make sure you don't have anything valuable. So erase files you have stored. And it should take a second. Okay, and it says, please keep in mind, uh, you don't want to uh, mount the drive on the original drive letter. In my case, it's E. You want to choose something else that's available. And you press OK, and it's been created. And you're done. Select exit from there and volume tool select drive so you can choose any one x w x y z z whatever so now we want to select a drive again it's here select ok and mount and i'll ask for the password you typed in you press ok and you can, I have it set up so when I press exit, it's still in the uh, taskbar here. Um, system tray, sorry. And now you see the one that you created, it is now hidden. It's not accessible. But the one that we mounted with uh, TrueCrypt is right here. Okay, and there's nothing on that again. But this is, uh, once you unmount this drive, it's gone. So, and all, all, not your data, it's just that it's hidden and it's protected, um, encrypted. So you just uh, select dismount. And if you look at the computer, it's not there anymore. Now when I exit, it's gone from the system tray. And whatever you do, do not, if you accidentally double click or click on this, do not format. Just select cancel and you can close that I think you can I don't know if it will allow me yeah it allows it allows you to detach the VHD and it's gone 
not gone from your computer, but gone from sight. Okay, so I hope you found this useful. And as always, please leave a comment if you have any questions. And thank you very much for watching.